Hi guys, I'm Sean. This is Holly. And we're currently in Fremantle right now. And we're gonna be showing you some of the best things to do in Perth and its surrounding areas. Today, we're gonna to show you some of Fremantle. What else you'll see in this video is the city of Perth, some of the best shops, best ice creams, best drinks, and wildlife, and just a little bit of the beaches. So let's show you everything you can do in Perth and its surrounding areas. Let's go, Holly. Right, so this is Fremantle, and Fremantle is great because it's just outside of Perth, about 40 minutes yeah. on the train. And it's one of the places you need to see when you're in Perth because uh, it's a little sweet little town, but it is known for its markets. Where we're gonna take you right now. So here we are, we're at the Fremantle Market, which um, ironically was the best video on my channel before I deleted it, because um, it didn't fit with my videos on my channel. And it'll be better because I'm on it this channel. And now um, I'm refilming it right now. <laughs> what was that, Holly? I couldn't hear you, but I know you see you to the camera. <laughs> right, let's uh, have a look at this market. So this end of the market is more like fruit and veg. You've got the middle, which is all about your food. And then at the end, it's all your souvenirs, clothes, and random stuff you'll find. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Dragon fruit, watermelon. Yeah, that looks good. So there we go. We picked up some mangoes there for five and some strawberries as well. Which are both fresh and I believe both grown in Australia. And in season. And in season at the moment. So uh, we are looking forward to those later. do love a good patch. <laughs> wow, all the way in Australia. Melbourne is so strong. Well, I've gone for the butterscotch toffee. Holly's gone for, what one do you go for Holly? Uh, chocolate macadamia. All right, oh nice, just down there. It smells so strong. We've both got ice coffee with oat milk and yeah. Yeah, you went hot and I was like, why you are you know, going hot? If you know anything about us on coffees, we love our coffees. And if you want to buy some coffee, then check out us and buy some coffee. They have a knock box. <laughs> See it? What's that? So you knock your own grains out up there. All right, okay. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. So that was the three minute market. It was pretty nice. Awesome, but very busy. Um, we've got this coffee right now, and it is ridiculously strong. And, it's good. Uh, yep. Um, we're going to head now, just have a little look at the uh, area of Fremantle, and then we're going to show you some more places you can do around Perth. And we're going to show you Perth more itself next. You can see, Sean, not do. You don't, you don't do places. Buildings don't need to be assaulted. Wow. Well, we'll show you things that you can see in Perth next. So as I said, I'm going to show you some cool places in Perth. But instead of just showing you the whole of Perth and vlogging it, I'm going to go through them quite quickly because there's a lot of things I want to show you in Perth. And the first place is actually a jerky place. It sounds really strange, but there's something that I really loved when I first got to Perth. And it's like this fresh jerky. That's impossible for fresh jerky. But um, it's delicious and there's such a good range of different jerky here. The next thing that you should try when you're in Perth or anywhere in Australia and that's Messina gelato and this stuff is incredible the range of ice cream they have here oh it's delicious I, I don't know how to describe it any more than that it's just delicious when you head into a bar in Australia check out a place that serves Canadian club on draft just bear with me it is so refreshing on a hot day we actually had this on a rooftop bar which looked out to the Adnate Tower. And if you've watched our Melbourne video, you'll know about this street artist and their incredible work. It is absolutely stunning. Um, we've shown you all about this and talked about this in our last video, but I thought we'd just show you some more of their art, street art in this video. Another thing you need to check out in Perth is the Elizabeth Quay. This area is quite posh and very new built. A lot of the, they're still building around this area and they have been for the last well, 10 odd years. But 
it's just one of these places that has just a beautiful look of the city and also there is King's Park which is just a bit further and that is one of the best views unfortunately I didn't get a video but I did go there when in Perth or around the areas you need to check out some sort of zoo or wildlife center and the wildlife center that we went to was all, all the way in Kahuna, it's Kahuna Wildlife Park, and it was absolutely fantastic. One of my favorites was the parrots, and you'll see why. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You want a scratch? <laughs> Doesn't like you. Oh. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> they have loads of native animals in these parks. Stuff you probably never see anywhere else. And it's not always possible to see in the wild in Australia. They've got saltwater crocodiles, kangaroos, peacocks, even koalas. Well, Holly said this one's me on the couch last night. <laughs> there you go, we'll see why. And, and the last thing on this list is you need to visit a beach. This is Rockingham Beach and it is absolutely incredible. The weather is perfect for beaches. Hi guys and thank you for watching the Perth video. I hope you found some incredible things to do and see in Perth. We really enjoyed it. See and do. Do and see. See and do. Do in Perth. And <laughs> I hope you have found things that you can do and see in Perth. And <laughs> I'll see you again. Do and see. Soon. 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 <laughs>